And that was one of these nights from the Eagles. You are ready, no doubt, to hear Super Sound Showcase. I apologize that we are a few minutes late, but in the live music business, all kinds of things can happen in the studio, and we had just a little issue that we had to take care of. But my special guest today is Lawrence Lambert, and in my mind, he is one of the greatest voices in this area. He is, and, and in fact, He's laughing at me already, but I got to tell you, the thing that I've been telling people this week as I've been talking about him is that he is one of the very rare singers that can just sing any old thing he wants to. Because you know what? So many singers are limited in style and and they don't have that kind of versatility. But Lawrence's voice lends itself well (laughs) to anything. And I am very lucky to have him here today for Super Sound Showcase and to have a performance scheduled that he and I are going to do tonight. So we are going to give you a little bit of a preview of what's going to happen tonight at the triangle so lawrence welcome to super sound showcase thank you it's so nice to be here well it's wonderful to have you and i tell you what we have um really only had two rehearsals but we've been talking about wanting to get together and start doing some music together and we got together that first time and i kind of felt like it fell in place to the point where it was just really something that i want to work on so yeah I'm excited about our chemistry on stage, and I think that this is the first time we're unveiling it publicly. So um, I'll tell you that if you hear something today and you really like it, I would love for you to call the studio. And if you hear something that you don't like, well, I'd just soon not hear about it ever. (laughs) <laughs> so, <laughs> exactly yes but uh, anyway tell us a little bit about your music and, and where you've come from I mean you were here once before with Little Doors with Little Doors band. that's my band mm-hmm. yep and um, I basically was raised on a farm so what do you do on a farm at, when the, goes, the sun goes down you sing so that's how I started and I've been singing ever since hmm. so and, and you and, must have a heck of a version of Bob McDonald well actually that's one I think we missed <laughs> But we got some others in there. Yeah. But yeah, I was raised on a farm, and so singing was a big part of what my family did whenever we came together. So, right. and my mother made sure we went to New York every summer to see a show. Nice. So it was, um, you know, it was. We are a musical family. Wow. Um, That's exciting. And I have a twin brother. He plays the piano, and I sing. Now, but he doesn't play the piano like you. Better? No, no, you are. Oh. I, I can't wait for him to hear you play. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, you told me he and I would get along, but you yes. didn't tell me that he was a pianist. I didn't realize that. Well. That's exciting. Well, we, we all took piano lessons, but somehow we missed uh, um, the classes that you took. Oh. <laughs> I think you got that natural thing going on. Hey, you know, it'd be really funny. I just had this vision of your uh, twin brother and I playing uh, both Dueling playing, piano, playing pia- pianos with you singing and people going, wait. <laughs> wow. Because you're, are you identical? No, we're fraternal. Oh, okay. Yeah. Right, so it wouldn't confuse them that much then. Yeah. All right. Well, that's cool. So tonight, uh, let's talk At about- At the Triangle. Val- yeah, let's talk about Valentine's Happy Day. Happy Valentine's Day. Be, well, happy Valentine's Day to yeah. you and to all of our listeners. I've been sort of talking about it on the air all day. But the thing is, I was so happy that one of, I'm at the Triangle for the second and fourth Thursdays every month. And I was happy that my day, my regular day, just happened to fall on Valentine's. And so, you know, normally we're doing like a New York style piano bar in there. And we have a lot of people involved in the music. And we'll do some of that tonight. But I got to thinking that if it's going to be the actual Valentine's Day, I really wanted to do something special, a little more like of a, a concert setup, you know. And in this case, um, it just seemed like the perfect time for, for us to see what, what we can create. What uh, what are your memories of Valentine's Day? Do you have one that uh, stands out? That- I have no memories of Valentine's Day. None? I mean, you know, just the uh, going out to dinner and chocolate and all that kind of stuff yeah but you know it's just a day there wasn't one that just stood with you forever huh? uh-uh. well that one might be next year yes or it might be tonight because we're gonna kill it that's right tri- it's tonight at the triangle that's where it's gonna <laughs> that's the one oh my goodness all right well you are uh if you are just tuning in you are listening now to super sound showcase which is sponsored by culture fix here on fm 93.5 the berg and wmbg am 740 i am your host robert hodge and my special guest is lawrence lambert and we will actually be right back with some music don't go anywhere 
And we are back with Super Sound Showcase, sponsored by Culture Picks on FM 93.5 The Berg and WMBG AM 740. I'm your host, Robert Hodge. My guest today, Lawrence Lambert, one of my favorite vocalists and my partner for a concert tonight at the Triangle celebrating Valentine's Day. And we hope that you will decide to come in and enjoy the holiday with us. All the lovebirds, yes. Oh, well, that'll be fun. Yeah, mm-hmm. we'll sing a lot of romantic songs, and we uh, we prepared a couple of them for for you today. Let's uh, let's give them a little taste, and I guess you know, let's get the cliche out of the way. Let's, let's okay. go with the, the obvious song. All right, shall we? Yes. Funny Valentine, sweet comic Valentine, you make me smile with my heart. Your looks are laughable, unphotographed. Yet you're my favorite work of art Is your figure less than Greek? Is your mouth a little weak? When you open it to speak Are you smart? Don't change your hair for me Not if you care for me Stay little Valentine Stay Each day is Valentine your figure less than green? Is your mouth a little weak? When you open it to speak, are you smart? But don't change your hair for me. Not if you can for me Oh, nice thank job. you. I like that. Yeah, that's a great song. <laughs> have you uh, have you performed that in public before? You know, I have. I've done that with Little Doors. Oh, okay. Um, but I, we only do it like once a year, unfortunately. Gee, when yeah. would that be? February? Valentine's Day <laughs> is when we do it. You know, around Valentine's Day. Okay, well, understandable, and we'll do it uh, to, not to break with tradition. Yes. What, uh, what else would you like to do for these folks? Um. This is the music that I How about God the Bless the Child? Too. Oh, I love that. That'd be a great song. Okay, that's Yeah, great. this song has a great history. Did you want to expand on that? Oh, um, you know, um, Billie Holiday, she first wrote this song for her mother after she asked her to borrow some money. And her mother told her no. And so she went home and she wrote this song. Shall get 
them that's not shall lose. So the Bible says, and it still is news. Your mama may have, and papa may have, but God bless the child that's got his own. Yes, the strong get more While the weak ones fade Empty pockets don't Ever make the grade Your mama may have And your papa may have But God bless the child got his own That was nice. I like it. And that was a good ending. Yeah. Really beautifully done. You see what I mean? He's just got a masterful way. Well, we try. <laughs> what I love, though, is you just, you know how to weave a lyric into a tapestry, man. It's well, beautiful. I mean, it's, it's really so great, you know, listening to you play. It just frees me up to try new things. It's very exciting for a singer. All the singers out there know this. Well, it's it is, really great. It is fun if you have enough confidence to know that I'll be wherever you land. Well, so that's yeah, fun. it's it's a journey, man. Mm-hmm. True. It's supposed to be that way. And it seems so odd that we are already on our third song, and that's what we have time for today. So make it a good one. What do you want to do? Well, I want people to know that we're going to be at the Williamsburg Library 
on um, Saturday, March 23rd at 7.30, Little Doors. Yeah. So please put that down on your schedule. And, and that doesn't address the third song, though, does it? No, it doesn't. <laughs> um, what about um, Summertime? Oh, that's a good one. We'll give them something to look forward to. So uh, even though this is an unseason- un- unseasonably warm Valentine's. Well, we'll take it. Yeah, I will take it. All right, so let's start this out uh, maybe as a ballad, and then maybe we'll swing it a little at the okay, end. Okay, yeah. That'll be fun. All right. Let's play with it. I'll give you a little intro. Summertime And the living is easy Fish are jumping And the cotton is high Oh, your daddy is rich And your mom is good looking That's it for today's episode of Super Sound Showcase. Lawrence, thank you so much for coming. Thank you so much for the invite. It is certainly a pleasure to, to be on stage with you, and I look forward to this evening when we will do this and much more. <laughs> and thank you, as always, for uh, listening. Thanks for tuning in. There'd be no point if nobody was on the other end of the radio. And the musicians that come on here, they work hard. They perfect their craft, and I am delighted to be able to share their music with you every week, week after week. So to our friends at Culture Fix, our sponsors to Steve, Jen, and Shirley, thank you so much. And as always, Riley, our producer, you come through in a pinch no matter what happens. So thank you so much. It is a pleasure, and we will go back to the music that you love now with a surprise. (laughs) 